Tyler Fofano, just uh, jumping on here just to share my learnings and also experiences around uh, the week two module um, that we've just completed as part of the Kahau i Te Ao program. Um, a lot of learnings, uh, a lot of learnings in this one and it was all about the system, um, the e-commerce system and so what systems have uh, are in place and to help us succeed and also learning to start and to begin to create our own systems and uh, to be successful in this program but also in our business and so um, e-commerce has been around and you know people who have been successful in it uh, leave uh, have left ideas in, in and also clues on how they became successful. And so this week's been about unpacking that, unpacking those systems that they've created and also um, learning or beginning to actually start to implement that into our own businesses. And so it was a lot of takeaways, a lot of um, um, clues, but successful people leave uh, leave clues on to how they became successful. And, and I think it's, um, part of the journey is to unpack it and learn it and, and then implement it for ourselves and so that we can either um, achieve the same or achieve uh, greater things and so yeah a, a lot of learnings like I said before uh, but the one that stood out for me the most was the work around creating a, an ideal customer or creating an avatar and so you've got a business who are you wanting to sell to who would be your ideal customer and it was really really challenging because we had to pinpoint or um or think about every detail in terms of um so for example uh where do they work their age group their um conferences that they would like to go to and so really understanding who your customer is uh and if you really understand who your customer is, then you would actually know how to market. You would know where to, uh, the platforms that you can actually utilize to um, be seen or for your business for, to, uh, for them to reach your business. And yeah, it was, it was um, a lot of work, but it's also the beginning of something to um, really understand and the importance of actually knowing your customer uh, allows you to actually focus when when you're marketing and focus all your and your all your energy into actually reaching your customer there uh, instead of um, not knowing your customer and just pretty much launching something and um sending it out to anyone you know uh, not everyone's going to be interested so um really understanding your customer and actually pinpointing and focusing and and just really aligning all your work so that you can reach your ideal customer and so um understanding where they where they hang out understanding um what platforms they would use understanding what podcast it you know so it becomes something that you can utilize to actually um gain a sale or 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 gain a um a community of customers that you are pinpointing to and so yeah it was it was a lot of learning and, and it made me really think about who is it that we're pitching our idea to? And so for me, it's around our work around Afakasi uh, as our business. And, um, and so creating a service or um, creating a product that will empower and help um, Samoans that have not felt connected to their identity to to learn, to embrace, to reconnect with their identity. So Afakasi is, the, uh, is our business and our product. And yeah, it really, really made me understand uh, who is it that I'm, I'm pitching it to. And if, if I, because not everyone's going to understand and like our business idea. And so 
that's okay with me. But what I'm working on and what I'm, I'm trying to do is actually pitch it to that ideal customer. And so, yeah, it, it was a lot of learning, but a very, very important lessons. And so, yeah, uh, thank you so much. And I hope you have a good day. See ya.